Hi, my name is Scott Moulton, and I teach a professional forensics and data recovery course. I published a few mu movies on uh, how to do data recoveries and rebuilds. And this is a technique that uh, one of my students in one of my classes showed me how to do a head replacement with a tool that he made out of a pill container. So, Wes, if you're out there, thank you very much. Um, I've added a few touches of my own, and I'm going to show the people how to use it. So, basically the whole point is, is with this head replacement tool that you can make out of a uh, Sudafed container, basically. You can put this between your heads, and you will be able to slide the heads off the platter without touching the heads or doing any damage to the platters. So you'll be able to reassemble a head assembly that you pull out of one drive that's a good head assembly and put it in another head assembly. This is the basics of what it looks like when you pull the head assembly out and you have this tool stuck in there. So you're going to move your head to the edge of the platter. You're going to remove the heads by inserting this in the edge of the tool. And then you're going to move this assembly to your new uh, hard drive, to, your, to where the platter is that you actually want to recover the data from. And you're going to insert this head assembly in there. And it will slide right back up on top of the platter without touching the platter at all. So this gets rid of some complicated other tools that are out there for moving head assemblies. And this can be made for uh, you know, a couple of nickels. So basically, sorry my hand's in the way, but basically we're, I'm going to push from the back to push the head assembly up onto the platters. And I did not have to use any special tool to help pry them apart or do anything along those lines. Uh, all I want to do is physically pull out my tool from in between the platters as smoothly, as quickly as possible. And then I'm going to turn the platter itself in the direction that the heads are pointing so that I can move the head. You really need to make sure that you're moving your head while the platters physically are turning. Then I'm going to reassemble the drive. So here in a couple of seconds I'm going to show you how to make this tool and how quick and easy it is so that you can do the same type of assembly and then I'll follow that up again with another sample of a video of putting this tool to use. So here's the basics of how to make your own. The first thing is, is that you want to use some sort of a foil pill container. Then you're going to cut off a slice and you're going to take that slice and make a small piece out of it. I use this foam circular dots because they're very very thin and I'm going to take those and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it in between my piece of foil. So you cut a little strip and you put it in the middle of your strip. Then you take that strip and you fold it being very very careful and as cautious as you can about how you're going to fold it. And then you basically kind of carve it out a little bit to make it a little prettier so that it actually will fit in between your head assembly the way that you want it to. And then you move your heads to the edge of the platter and you will insert this tool at the edge where those come off of the platter. There's nothing wrong with that top head right there. You use a uh, piece of plastic from an overhead projector or something cut to slice to put that in place. So now you have the tool and so this is an example of me using it with my hand in the way again but in a second you'll see I'm going to move the heads to the edge of the platter and then I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to insert it while it's right there at the edge of the platter and the two heads are still pulled apart and all I'm doing is sliding this to the end of the metal not pushing on the heads because the heads are very very uh, fragile and any pressure at the ends of the heads will cause you a problem so all I did was slide that down towards the end of the metal then I removed the head assembly and I'm putting it on where my data is on the on the platter assembly that actually has the content that I'm trying to recover. And then I'm just going to push it up underneath the edge of the platter so that I can try to keep the head assembly uh, as perfect as possible. And it will be up a little bit off of the edge of the platter. So it's not going to hit the edge of the platter and it's not touching the edge of the platter. You may have to practice a little bit with the tool or thickness of, of the foam and the things that you're going to reassemble. 
But, uh, you know, again, this is another clip from another video where I'm showing the basics of how to do a uh, simple head replacement. And the heads are being held apart. I pulled it straight off the platter just like that without having to have any other special head comb tools or anything along those lines. Um, and I've gotten to where I can make each one of these that I want to use in a minute, minute and a half. So this is one of the easiest methods that i found to do this as opposed to buying some $200 head tools or something that are out there. There are some that come in handy in very complicated situations where you have you know, six heads or something along those lines. But uh, I believe that you will find that you can build these foam pieces uh, out of foil and they will hold up and, and survive the test of time. You basically are, are holding that in the back and pushing it up there and then you will remove that piece of foil as carefully as possible and then turn the platters so that the platters are not having any kind of problems uh, with the head sticking to them and pulling the heads off and you put them in the park position and then you reassemble your drive. So this is the basics of how you can do a head placement much easier than some of the other uh, methods that are out there. I've seen a couple of other people post other videos and uh, and they've given me credit for some different methods of, of putting stuff and I appreciate it. Uh, this might help them out in some other newer methods that might solve some of their their current problems with uh, trying to cut straws and trying to cut other pieces of plastic to fit in between. This is a lot smoother and again you don't touch the head assembly. So give it a shot. See what you think. And also keep in mind that uh, there's a number of different methods that you can do things. This is only one of the items that I teach in my class. If you're interested in, in learning more advanced methods of doing rebuilds and platter replacements, then uh, please see my information at myharddrivedied.com. Again, that's myharddrivedied.com, spelled exactly the way it is. And you'll find some information about my classes and other videos uh, where I've published another five or six videos. So thank you very much.